Hello, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Ascent, where we've just taken a mission to go rescue a Kerbal from space. I don't know where he is right now, or she. Uh, and I am creating a rocket to go get him. Uh, this is going to be the rescue vehicle here. I have saved it as Rescue 1, so we can use it anytime. And I've got a sub-assembly here that we use to, I think, get to um, get to low carbon orbit. So we're going to use it as well. Now these fins are set to go east-west. If we have to, we'll turn them around. The only thing I don't have on here is control. Uh, we've got a couple of battery or a couple of uh, solar panels. We have to make sure we stay there. We've got control here so we can go with the empty. Let's make sure it's empty. Um, Kerbals. Jebediah. <clears throat> yeah, we don't want Jebediah in there. We're going to control from here. We have our antenna. We have that. We have batteries. I removed the monopropellant. Monopropellant is removed. We have one parachute. This is the only thing that'll come back to Kerbin. We did put a heat shield on there. This uh, rocket costs 9200 So let's just check our staging. We have our booster. We have separation of these two. Yes, we have separation of these two. Yes, and this is just going to have to get us really close to the, um, really close to the guy. I'm not sure. Maybe we could change the the engine on here. What engine do I have? Where does it separate? Yeah, we've got that engine. It'll be a little big, but uh, you know we could turn the thrust down. I don't leave it like that. So everything's set. We could actually save this entire thing as rescue one, so we don't have to to do it again. Let's uh, save it as rescue. Mm. Rescue ship. Well, I should have called the whole rocket. Let's save it. Let's launch it. But what we don't know at the moment is where is the Kerbal that is lost in space. Uh, we know he's in Kerbin orbit. We don't know what direction he's traveling what his orbit uh, is. We'll turn on stability and then we'll go to the map. This is Seapont. So he's going in a retrograde orbit. He is at 90,000 meters so we just need to get up to 90,000. We are going to wait till he gets over here. Can we lock him? No, because we're not in our ship yet. Yes, set his target. <coughs> His periapsis is at 83, so all we have to do is get up to 83, catch him. Maybe we can do some Martian. Mark Wahlberg, the Martian. We'll launch, catch him right here, and then we'll land. No idea if that'll work, but uh, that's what we'll plan on. I don't have to get into an orbit, but if we, you know, if we have to, then we will. It's got 15 minutes. We'll go ahead and speed up time, though. Um, yep, let's go ahead and speed up time. He's going to be traveling really fast when he gets down here. Okay, I think that'll be good. We waited till he was right there. He is traveling really fast. 
hopefully this will work we're going to hit F5 and save it in case it doesn't work we can come back down and try again getting ready to launch in three two one okay there we go we are going to rescue Seapont from space I think we're going to turn over just a little bit there and keep it there until we break the ship apart and uh, it's been a while since we flew this since we launched this rocket here this subassembly and here we go I'm not touching the controls we're just going to let it go until we get up into the well up into the atmosphere here I've just gone full throttle the entire way not changing the throttle settings at all not using any controls <clears throat> Looks like it wants to go downrange a little bit. We're hovering right on the end of this. I'm not going to touch anything. These rocket fins are helping. We're at 600 meters per second. <clears throat> Crossing over. Okay, now we're going to lean, go ahead and lean on over. Thirty thousand. Crossing 900 meters per second. This is a good launch. Gonna tilt on over just a little bit more. We're in orbit. Or, well, we're not in orbit. I roll on over, checking air. Yeah, we need to really kick this over. He is really low right now. We're gonna be out of fuel here momentarily. Just a moment. Wow, he's really low. Let's kick it over. Bringing this down. Okay, that's it. We're out. Look at that angle. Yeah, I didn't need to go so fast. This this rocket. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to break this off. Get our thrust. That will fall back to Kerbin. He is back that way somewhere. Yep, there he comes. There is our target, 97 meters. He's going to come underneath us. This is me. He will be here. So we're going to get these two together. We're going to push these two together. I'm going to go ahead and attempt that right now. They're going to get closer and closer. Don't want to go too far. You want to catch him and get back down to curve. are close. I don't like the angle. We'll have to burn some more to uh, kill off our speed, but it'll be good. Where are you? Seapont? Can't, can't remember his name. Seapont. How much fuel do we have? Ooh, we don't have a whole lot, so this may be... We may miss. I don't know. Five hundred thirty-seven meters per second. 
this this rocket is not good enough to do this. Uh, better go ahead and make sure we have battery and I don't know if we have to have this antenna on here. What about the antenna? Um, I might be able to put a smaller antenna on. He's at 36 kilometers away, 360 meters, <clears throat> 3,600 meters. We're going to jump over to him and try to get on board. <laughs> try to get him to here before we come back into re entry. How far will we be? Four. I'm not sure how close we have to be. Two kilometers? Do we have to be within two? Do we have to be within range? Uh, let's go over here and try it. Okay, no nearby objects to focus on. Use the map view to select distant ones. We can't select him anyway. Okay, there's Sea Punch Shipwreck. Just going to keep trying until we get to this maneuver node. Let's uh, set up a maneuver node so we know about our time. Target, we want to kill us, kill off this rotation. One minute. See if we can jump into him now. We're going to F5 and save it right here. Cannot. <clears throat> I don't think we're positioned correctly. <laughs> can we jump over? Nope. Nope. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try to kill off. Uh, I'm going to make this say zero. Ooh. Now we're going to turn toward. Give a little boost toward. Let's check our everything. We're in orbit. We're in orbit. We're going to catch him here on the dark side. Two kilometers away. We can get that a little closer. Uh, I was looking right here two kilometers away. Separation 2.4 kilometers. If we can get within two kilometers, we can jump. Yeah, we can jump over. So, let's see if we can get toward him a little quicker. We have 276 meters per second. We're heading right towards him. Right now we're 4,000 meters away. getting closer <clears throat> trying to catch him before the dark side of the planet over here trying to get within two if we get within two then we'll be okay we'll turn normal are we facing the Sun yes facing the Sun we don't have a whole lot of electric charge we have 40 so we may lose control, but as long as we're close, should be okay. And we have engine to uh, relative speed is thirty six meters per second. Get within two, we'll slow down just a bit.
Okay, let's see if we can switch. Yes, we can. We can switch. Let's find... We have to find it, or we won't. There it is. Let's go ahead and EVA. Okay, jetpack. There we go. He has to catch up with him. Okay, here we come. Three hundred meters. Let's start slowing down a little bit. Don't want to go past him. Ooh, lights on. There we go. 100 meters. Slowing down just a bit. Coming into view here. Slow down, buddy. Seapont, slow down. Seapont, you've got enough uh, mono propellant. You're good. Okay, getting ready to rendezvous and board the vessel. How'd you get up here anyway, Seapont? We just launched Jebediah, and you stole Bob and Bill's thunder, being the second one in space. Okay, we'll go ahead and board. Can he do a EVA report? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna grab hold and get on board. Okay, you're on board. Let's find out what oh Seapunt is female. A female pilot. So we have a female pilot now. I guess that Seapunt could be just no clue. No clue yet. No clue yet. We do have some debris in space. Uh, Seapont. I don't know how she got up there. But uh, where is Seapont's shipwreck? Yeah, we don't need to have that as a target anymore. And we're going to. Hmm. We want to land back at Kerbin. Space Center. So when we get right about here, I guess. Or is it right here? I think it's right here, but we have the... We don't have a whole lot of fuel. <laughs> so we will add a maneuver here to bring our ship down. Add a maneuver there. Kill off the throttle. 168 meters per second. I don't know if we have that much fuel on board. To there. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Something like that. Two hundred meters per second. Let's see if we have that. Just barely two hundred and sixty-one. So let's get on around to the other side. Okay, we're using battery, so we're going to turn off SAS. We're still using battery. Let's see, I don't understand this. Why are we always, always, always using battery? Um, SAS is off. We don't need this anymore because she's a pilot, but we're going to go ahead and pilot. I mean, we're not using a whole lot. Let's turn this into hybrid 
because we have a control here now. There it was. We put the capsule, uh, not the capsule, but the octo, probodobodon octo control. Put that in hibernation. I guess it's using communication and stuff, so. 9.51 on the battery, 47.53 on that battery, and we're not using any bank. It must use this, must use a lot of battery. Okay, done, 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 done. Why can't I get that turned off? What? Oh, duh. Electric charge battery. <laughs> um, going to map mode. Let's go ahead and speed up till we get up. Let's go ahead and speed up till we get over here. Then we'll turn retrograde. Our first rescue under our belt. I need to streamline that a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more delta V wouldn't hurt, or definitely some monopropellant and um, you know a little extra. Of course, all we have to do is get within two, and then we could save it. But what we don't want is to get up there and now. Thankfully, she is a pilot, so. And they are using female voices. So. Okay, she's coming back in. Uh, we've got a little bit of fuel. We're just going to go ahead and. Oh, there's our antenna. Eject that. Go ahead and break this off. Oh, F5 to save. Go ahead and break this off. And we're going to go ahead and open our parachute and see if it works. We're going to go ahead and open the parachute now. Can we program the parachute to open? You know what I mean? Okay, it's armed. Very good, at a thousand meters. So we technically we shouldn't have to do anything from now. I can sit back and relax and turn off SAS and hopefully everything will play out. <laughs> have no idea. We're at eighty-five thousand meters. Go ahead and speed up time. Until we hit the atmosphere. We are falling now over the deserts. That's where I use like to come in. Okay, we're at seventy thousand meters. Got the ablative heat shield on. This is in hibernation mode. And the battery. We didn't turn the batteries off. We just put it in hibernation mode. So, oh, she's going to have, um, she's going to be orbit of curve. She's going to be level one. She's going to be level one. Ooh, I don't like that we're coming in over them. Maybe I came in a little too soon. We're going to hit the mountains. I should have saved that. <laughs> I should have saved the, uh, the rocket. It's a little bit of guidance. Or from next time, we'll come to this desert right here. I don't have my flag down, so I really didn't see. We'll probably hit grass. Let's see what she can see from her cockpit here. 
she's looking behind and up. Things are getting hot now. See the fire going around. Plasma. Okay, let's take a look outside. Coming in with the heat shield. The ablator. We had 200 on board. Or 200. I don't think we're even going to use that much. So we can turn some ablative heat shield off next time. Might, might use a little weight. We're not going to open the parachute. It is armed to open on its own. We're just west of the mountains at Kerbin Space Center at the KSC. So we got a recovery crew out here. You know, role play are to go ahead and create a land vessel and a ocean vessel, you know, to simulate that we can go get these Kerbals when, wherever we land on the planet. I wonder if we can change that to 15. Let's change that to 1800. <laughs> oh my goodness. Will it? It's unsafe to deploy. Now, oh, it does that already. Okay, then yeah, we can. It does it when it's safe. And there's a minimum pressure of four, maybe. Change that back to 950. So when it's safe, it goes ahead and pulls the chute out. That's interesting. That's interesting. We didn't use any, hardly any. 40. We used 40 of the ablative heat shield. 20. Yeah. Didn't use much. Of course, we weren't going really fast. We weren't falling from the moon or from Minmus. We were just coming right back into from low carbon orbit. If I can work that rocket just a little bit, get us a little bit more delta V out of it. And it has to be a perfect launch. If you roll over, you're not going to have that extra. I don't like being that close to something, you know. There we go, 300, 300 meters. Go ahead and speed up time. And Seapunt, get a little scamper, a little curveball scamper. Ooh, we were coming in at six. That was that was heavy. That was heavy coming in at six. I'll have to check that heat shield. I know it'll survive at six, but uh, recover. Do we need to do anything? Can we do crew report? Already got it from the water. I didn't put any more experiments on. Okay. So we have us another pilot. So we have a total of three pilot, one scientist, one. Uh, uh, no science. Oh, we got a little bit of science. What was that for? Recovery of a vessel returned from Kerbin orbit. Okay. Uh, we got 1,000. So the ship costs nine. And we brought back nearly two, so it cost us seven thousand dollars to go get this Kerbin, Kerbal. And yeah, she's a level one pilot. So total reputation. We got a lot of reputation for saving a Kerbal. Uh, there is another one up there. Uh, I wanted to go get one just to make sure. Now we got eighty-two. Let's go in and check the. A blade of heat shield and see what the uh, uh, heat 
the blade of heat shield crash tolerance is nine and we were at six so as long as there's only one Kerbal in here there's no batteries we just have those batteries we might one day get us a lighter one of these how much does that weigh it weighs point one that is 0 0.5 Tolerance of 12, pressures in, electric charges 10. Why can't we use this one? We don't even need that antenna. We could use um, one of these smaller antennas. We ought to strip this down. And instead of four fins, we could go to three fins. That'll give us a little bit. And I never really checked to see if every tank was full. <laughs> I never checked. And they are. Um, I don't know. We may we may just go with one solar panel. You know, try to try to make this as light as possible. Because when a Kerbal, oh yeah, and go to the. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Want the ablative heat shield? Yeah, we can we can lower that down. Does that uh, change the weight any? Let's go here. Now let's go halfway. Yes, it does. So, the ablative heat shield. I think that is it. I mean, we can't strip it down anymore except for that. And a couple of the fins. But I'm not going to mess with it right now. Maybe next mission we'll do it. Um, not going to save it. Let's leave. Don't save. Anyway, we rescued a Kerbal from low Kerbin orbit. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.